Do you think you could walk on fire? Kauai is an island of ancient fire. Islands made of cooled magma, the stuff of the mother's heart. The stuff is lava. This is a lava love story. A story of science and history, mostly of beauty. My name is Jana. In Gaelic, Jana means who but I could see into the uncut stone. I have to know. I have a rock passion. I live on Kauai, and so I explore lava. What is lava? Well, let's look at what rock is first. Rock is a naturally formed aggregate of mineral matter constituting a significant part of the Earth's crust. But we're going to go below the Earth's crust to explore. Come on. Underground, the Earth is churning with a mixture of liquid rock, crystals, and dissolved gas. This is magma. When magma finds a weak spot along the tectonic plate or the boundary, of a thin spot of the Earth's crust, it gushes forth. Hitting the air, it changes into a solid state. Then it becomes lava. Lava is a basalt rock. This basic basalt is the foundation or the parent material for all the other gem and mineral rocks on Earth. The hot spot beneath Hawaii in the center of the Pacific Plate has been producing shield volcanic islands for millions and millions of years. In 1963, scientist J. Tuzo Wilson theorized the Hawaiian Islands were slowly moving on a tectonic plate across a deep stationary hot spot in the mantle. This was producing a persistent source of magma beneath what is now called the Big Island of Hawaii. This plate has carried possibly countless islands beyond the hot spot towards extinction and eventual remelting beneath Asia's central subduction zone. Kauai is the oldest of the high islands, and it has moved approximately five million years away from the still producing hot spot. If you're 24 years old, then Kauai has moved 84 inches, or seven feet in your lifetime. The plate moves toward the northwest at about three and a half inches a year. Calculate that for your own lifetime and see how far the islands have moved since you were born. Geologist Chuck Blay, an author of Kauai's Geologic History, superimposed the high islands over the U.S. mainland from Big Island to Curry, just past the Atoll Island of Midway. The islands stretch across the U.S. from Texas-Louisiana coast border up to almost San Francisco. This chain represents over 28 million years of plate tectonic movement. Lava takes on a variety of sculpture shapes. Once it reaches the air, it is named by its relative viscosity. Here we see the slow-moving Pahoe Hoe. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, Pahoe Hoe is the Hawaiian term for basaltic lava and has a smooth, thick molasses. A ropey surface. A pahoehoe flow typically advances as a series of small lobes and toes that continually break out from a cooled crust. The kind of flow depends on the chemical composition and temperature of the molten rock. The rougher variety, known as a'a, is a Hawaiian word for stony, rough lava. It's crunchy, jagged, with glass-sharp edges that will cut through even tough shoes. Over tens of thousands of years, these dense, thick, slower-cooling basalt pahoehoe cools solidifies over fragile a'a. The a'a weathers quickest, compacts down, and erodes away. On Kauai, we see thick pahoehoe band that forms the cliff floor for our beautiful Wailua Falls. Atop the 13,500-foot crater summit of the Big Island's Mauna Loa, I was breathless not only with the thin air altitude, but also by the stark beauty I found. The 1978 flow looked as if it had just occurred beneath my feet. And here it was maintained in the dry, cold, low moisture environment. Lava rock is beautiful, awesome, provocative, and due to its ever-shifting chemistry within the subaerial atmosphere, it takes on endless array of forms, textures, and colors. 
the chroma-rich oxides, magnesiums, and potassiums were but a splash from Pelly's palate. opening question, do you think you could walk on fire? Come to Kauai and walk on cold, ancient fire. <laughs> 